Oh, hi. My name is Jenny. Welcome to my channel if you're new here or welcome back if you've been here before. Um, this is going to be my monthly haul for the month of February and this is going to be a short one. I didn't buy very much because I am in a low slash no buy um, because my boyfriend and I are moving in together in April so can't be spending too much on mail, mail polish, nail polish, goodness gracious. Um, so this is a very small one. Uh, this is just what I got from Polish Pickup from the uh, February theme of wild animals. Um, I only got four things. I just, I've just been trying to be a little bit more picky about what I have, so I'm not expanding my collection too much. Um, so I'll start with the first thing I got, which I've been wanting for a while and I just haven't had the incentive. Um, this is Glistening Glow's Glitter Grabber Top Coat. Um, oh, there we go. This thing is great. Um, I've been eyeing this for a while because I do really like glitter polish, but I don't like the texture of glitter polish all that much. I don't know, something about it just, mm -mm, just does not do it for me. So I try to, like, I oftentimes will devil up on my top coat to help with smoothing down glitter because it can just be a little bit too much for me sometimes. Um, so I tried this um, already and I'll introduce this with the other thing that I purchased and I was very glad that this came out at the same time as this glitter top coat because I definitely needed it very much. Um, so going from glistening glow glitter, glitter grabber goodness um straight into the glitter top coat that I got and I was very excited to buy this this is Katie Shimmer uh this is the spotted topper um and you can't tell in the bottle so I'll pull out my little ziploc baggie but there is little leopard print glitters in here and I just as soon as I saw it I knew that I needed to do a Lisa Frank manicure I just knew I needed to and that's exactly what I did um so I paired that um let me see if I can find the glitter oh here's the glitters and I put them all in this like plastic ziploc bag because I just I, I just couldn't. I, I couldn't be bothered with the small one. I needed a bigger bag to be able to pull these glitters out of. Um, so it came with like all of these extra glitters because they knew that glitter placement was going to be a, like a problem. They already knew. So they prepped us. Um, and I can definitely tell you because I've used this that it is very difficult to, to get the leopard print spots out of the bottle. It's so difficult, even with turning the bottle upside down. I was having a hard time. So I'm very glad that they brought or they included this, the the loose glitters for us so that we could do a hand placement. Um, so I've already used this in a manicure and I really liked it. Um, my biggest gripe with it is that it, sometimes if the leopard print glitters get bent, then it lifts up a little bit. So then it's not going to be as secure on the nail. Even with the glitter grabber top coat and with another top coat on top, I was still having issues with just some of the leopard print glitters sticking up. And I kind of knew that that was going to be an issue going into it. So I'm not upset about it, but it's still something to be aware of if you did get this glitter polish and are a little bit surprised. So just be aware of that. So you are going to have to place the glitters. And I did that using a toothpick. Um, not a toothpick, goodness, a cuticle pusher, um, one of the like orange wood sticks. I used that and dipped it in a little bit of top coat and then picked it up with, with that and then placed it on my finger. It probably also would have been more successful if I had put like a layer of top coat down before I put the glitters on because that probably would have helped with sticking a little bit better, but that's just a learning experience for me. So I'll know that for future. So I'll include up here, uh, the manicure that I did with this. I ended up using um, this on all of my fingers and then I paired it with a rainbow gradient for um, using the Hall Taco Retro Collection. I'll go into a whole video about the manicures that I did for the month of February because it's going to be a long one, but I'll include a picture of what, what this ends up looking like right there so that you guys can see it. Um, the next polish that I picked up is Azurious by um, it's by Indie by Patty Lopez. Um, it is this like really, really pretty, I don't even know how to describe this color. It's like a robin's egg blue. Um, and it has these really pretty matte light blue hex glitters in it. And I just thought that this was such a pretty color. I'm very excited to try this because I don't have anything like this in my collection. I actually don't have very many like hex glitter things as far as I'm aware. Like, I mean, I have actual glitter polishes, which I'm sure utilize hex glitters, but, um, like it's different than what, like 
this like little smattering of hex glitters is I guess is the best way to put it. So I'm very excited to try that. I haven't tried it yet. Looking forward to trying it. Um, and the last polish that I bought, and this is a magnetic polish, but I'm going to describe this as an optional magnetic because it's there, but, but, uh, I think it's just a very faint magnetic. Um, so this is Swamp Gloss. Um, this is called the wild rumpus and this is um i believe that this was inspired by um where the wild things are um i don't i i think i've only read that like maybe once or twice i've never actually seen the movie so i don't remember who the wild rumpus is but i do really like this polish it's so beautiful it's like this blurple again with the light blue hex glitters in it like the light blue little matte ones um and it just is like the smattering and then there's also this very beautiful like I don't, it's like a goldish green shimmer and it's showing up a lot more on camera than what it does in person. Um, but the magnetic stripe I would describe as being pretty faint. Um, like I, if I remember correctly, it is more of a, hang on, let me look on this side so I can see. It's honestly, it's very faint. I, I'm going to guess that this is probably going to be better for a, a velvet manicure, which is what I specifically bought it for because as I've said in previous videos, velvet manicures are my favorite. Uh, I are the velvet manicures the velvet effect for magnetic manicures is my favorite. Goodness, I don't do cat eyes very often because I just have an issue with them diffusing really fast. So I just choose not to do that very often. Um, it's very infrequent that I do. Otherwise, I try to just do velvet or aura. Goodness. Um, so um, that was. All I bought this month it wasn't very much. I don't even think I spent over $50 on this, um, including shipping. Um, I'll show off what's on my hands today. Uh, this is Wither Rose by Night Owl Lacquer. This is such a fun hollow. I like. I don't have a charcoal gray hollow in my collection, so I was very excited to get this one because it just it is a very pretty hollow. And I'll include like some still pictures, but this will go into my what I wore in February video so that you guys can see it and like now of course you can't see anything because I mean there's no <laughs> there's no light there um but anyways so that's that's all I got for February it wasn't very much like I said I'm just trying to do a low buy slash no buy so that um I'm not spending as much money on nail polish I have almost 200 bottles so I probably don't need more unless it's something that's like wow I don't have anything like this in my collection um what I might continue to expand on just because I think that they're so fun is thermals I only have one right now I like a couple more because they're just so pretty and they just every single time you look down it's going to be kind of a different manicure because of the thermal effect so um otherwise that's all, all I got for you guys um I might try to do some topic Tuesdays just to have some extra videos here and there um, otherwise I'm going to post this here in the next couple of days. So hopefully I'm going to try to post this video the first weekend of March and then I'll probably film my, what I wore for the month of February this weekend as well. Oh my goodness, Rio. Why? Sorry, this is Rio. This is my parents' dog. She's very nice. She's very spoiled. She is a drama queen, so we're stretching. Um, <laughs> so uh, it's going to be a longer video because I wore, I told my boyfriend, I think it was nine. I wore like nine different manicures in February, which for me, that's quite a bit because normally I only change out my manicures like on weekends, but I've just been feeling every, like every couple of days because I have so many, so I may as well use them. I don't mind. I have it down to like a pretty quick process now. Um, I've gotten into the habit of taking off the nail polish the night before and then all I have to do the next day on my lunch break because that's normally when I end up painting my nails is on my lunch break um it only takes me like 30 minutes then because I've already cut out like the most time consuming process which is taking off the polish especially if I have glitter on it just takes longer it's time consuming gotta make sure all the glitter comes off before you can put something else on so um that will probably be a longer video because I, let's, let's just count it out really quick. Let's, let's count it out because I'm curious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, eight, nine. I, I did wear nine different manicures and I used a lot of different bottles of polish because, um, one was like a full Skittle, um, and a couple were at least two colors because I used accent nails. Um, so anyways, that will be 
at a later time, maybe on Tuesday, <laughs> I'll get to that. Um, but I'm going to try to upload this video this weekend. Um, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like what I, what I bought this month. Um, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.